work uh, early on with uh, the WWF, Morris. Okay. Yeah. So, Johnny, I, I seen you joined the the WWF in in 1989. So, how did that process come about from training to kind of getting to the biggest wrestling company in the world? You'd say. Well, when Larry thought we were ready, he had a connection to the WWF talent line. I'm not sure exactly who it, would, who it was at that time that was working in the office. It may have been Tony Guerrilla or um, uh, Terry Garvin. I'm not positive of the Terry Garvin being there at that time. But uh, we would get set up there, me and a whole group of guys, we get set up there to do jobs for uh, various you know, top talent. I got to work with a lot of great guys. Yeah. And what was it like kind of going into a dressing room like that? Because I'm assuming that you would have seen these guys on TV. Was it intimidating in any way or was it just something that you could put out of the back of your mind? Overwhelming, but you're supposed to be a professional. We're taught to be a professional. And um, I went there representing Dennis Carluzzo and Larry and um, was told to keep my mouth shut. Don't speak till anyone speaks to you. Don't make an asshole out of yourself in that locker room because the last thing you want to do is draw attention from Pat Patterson. Yeah. Okay, you guys can laugh at some point, but that wasn't a rib. That was for real. That was for real. That's, a, you know, pretty much what was told. Just stay away. And, you know, you just go there, you go in that locker room, uh, seeing Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Rick Rude, uh, all those stars at that time. Amazing. And um, I was a fan of all those all those guys. But like I said, uh, having to put that behind you, it's kind of rough. And then having to work with them as a green, you know, you never know what to expect. Um, I was at that time fortunate to be on channel three world news uh person of the week or whatever it was with tom brokoff i was doing rolling stone magazine interview and uh also mtv and um you know haku had seen it uh, king haku and uh you know like he told me all the boys had seen it and you know was mad respect what they had seen um i had nature boy buddy rogers in my living room wrestling my son who was 10 years old i had uh buddy landell nature boy buddy landell in my living room uh kerry von eric um joel goodhart made all this possible of course you know so, you know, I'm uh, 30 years old at that time. And, you know, uh, I'm 30 years old, but my mindset is I'm like a 